Till now we have studied about the anatomy of the monocots and dicots of two important regions that is stem and root. Now we will study about the anatomy of the third and the most important region that is leaf. This figure depicts about the anatomy of leaf for dicots and monocots. Here E represents the dicot leaf and B represents monocot. Now the section of either of any of the two leaves basically comprises of three important regions that is outer layer epidermis, middle layer mesophyll, and the third and the last layer vascular system which comprises of fluid and xylem. Let us understand all the layers of both monocot and dicot in brief. This figure is the vert vertical section of the dorsi ventral leaf which comprises of mainly three regions. As discussed, epidermis, mesophyll, and vascular region. The epidermis region, which is made up of single layer parenchymatic cells, on the upper surface comprises up, upper epidermis and on the lower surface comprises lower epidermis. This layer is completely covered with cuticle and that is why it is cutinized and possess multi layer trichomes, that is, leaf hairs, which arises as projections from the epidermis layer. The number of stomata in stroma region is comparatively more in lower epidermis as compared to that of epidermis. Following epidermis, there comes the middle region that is mesophyll. Now mesophyll consists of two types of cells that is palisol mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. In between these two layers, there occurs air space. In ground tissue system, there occurs a region known as chlorenchyma. It consists it contains two regions. Now, the region that is present below the epidermis is known as palisade mesophyll, and the region that is present above the lower epidermis is known as spongy mesophyll. As two different types of tissues occur in the mesophyll that is palisade and spongy towards the upper and lower epidermis, this dichotomy is also known as bilateral. Now, vascular region consists of vascular bundles known as xylem and phloem, which can be seen in the vein and midrib region of leaf. Here, vascular bundles are conjoint, collateral, and closed, so xylem is not present. The xylem points towards the upper epidermis, on the contrary, phloem points towards the lower epidermis. Vascular bundles are surrounded by parenchymatous shape of cell. Thus, Dicot leaf mainly possesses three important regions. First is epidermis, second is mesophyll, and third is vascular region. Epidermis consists of two important regions, upper epidermis and lower epidermis. Covered with cuticle and is multilayered, which possesses trichomes, that is, hair like projection and stomata. The number of stomata in lower epidermis is more as compared to that of upper one. Then, in mesophyll, ground tissue appears consisting of system chlorenchyma. In it, the mesophyll region occurs which consists of two types of mesophyll that is pelliphyll and spongy. Pelliphyll mesophyll occurs 
towards the lower and the upper epidermis. And sponging occurs towards the lower epidermis. The pellicide cells are compactly arranged and the concave spongy cells are loosely arranged. In between these two regions, there occurs air space. Vascular region comprises of xylem, phloem. This vascular system is conjoint, collateral, and closed. The xylem points towards upper epidermis and flowing towards lower epidermis. Consisting of parenchymal cells. Here, since mesophyll region consists of two different types of tissues, such a dicot leaf is known as bilateral leaf. Now we will look about the anatomy of a monocotyl. This figure depicts about the anatomy of the eucalyptus leaf that is monocot in nature. The anatomy of a bilateral dorsiventral dicot leaf is similar to that of monocot leaf, which is isobilateral in nature. However, it possesses a few dissimilarities or differences within, which include Unlike dicots, monocots possesses stomata in larger amount in both upper and lower epidermis. Which is unlike dicots, the stomata is present more in lower epidermis than upper. Here the mesophyll is not differentiated into palisade and spongy. Here cuticle and chloroplast is absent. Leaf trichomes occurs in curved manner. For example, in monocot plants like grasses, cells occur in bully form shape. in a group of 5 to 7. They lack cuticle and chloroplast. In dry condition, they lose water and shrink, resulting into rolling of leaf blade. as a result of which transpiration is reduced.
However, in humid condition, these grasses absorb water and swells, resulting into unrolling of leaf as a result of which movement occurs. Thus, this type of movement caused by cells are known as motor cells in leaves. In monopot leaf, as the entire mesophyll, which is undifferentiated and thereby appears in a single form of chlorine chyma, such a monopot leaf is known as isobilateral leaf. In such monocot leaf, the parenchymatous cells cell sheet surrounds the smaller cells On the contrary, scleral kinetic shape surrounds the larger cells, which provides mechanical support to the plant. Thus, in vascular bundle, both type of parenchymatous and sclerenchymatous cells are present.